In this video, we will talk about the brain tumors and it comprises of the two words. One is the brain and one is the tumor. And first we will uh, try to define what are the tumors and then we'll talk about the anatomy of the brain. So what's the definition of the tumor? Uh, we can differ these, uh, let's uh, talk some facts about the tumor cell. These are not wanted by the body. These are unwanted cells. Uh, we have normal cells in our body, especially the brain, because here we are talking specifically about the brain uh, tumors. So these cells in the body which are normal, they will die after performing their certain task. But these tumor cells, these are unwanted sort of immortal cells. They do not die. They are ever hungry and they take up the resources of the brain. Oh, and all these cells which are unwanted, immortal and they are ever hungry, they gang up together, they are accumulated together in the brain and this is what we call the brain tumor. Now before we go into the detailed discussion about the uh, tumors of the brain, let's talk uh, a little bit about the anatomy of the brain. Now this is the anterior side of the uh, brain, this is the posterior side. Now as if uh, you are uh, taking the sagittal view of the brain, as if you are looking at the brain from the side of a person. Now uh, uh, this brain uh, is divided into certain portions and the superior most part of the brain which we call the cerebral cortex and this is also known as the forebrain, it is divided into four major lobes. One is the frontal lobe which is on the interior side. Then comes the parietal lobe which is on the uh, which is posterior to the frontal lobe and uh, superior to the occipital lobe. Underneath the parietal lobe and on the most posterior side of the brain is the occipital lobe and here is the temporal lobe which is on the uh, lateral aspect of the brain. So these are four major lobes of the brain uh, talking anatomically frontal lobe then comes the parietal lobe and occipital lobe here and this is the temporal lobe. Now uh, we so oftenly hear uh, about the brain stem. So uh, you can say that brain is the forebrain is actually positioned on a base or the stem which is known as the brain stem and it comprises of the three parts. One is the midbrain which is right underneath these occipital lobes then comes the pons area of the brain stem and finally uh, on the lowermost part of the brainstem is the medulla oblongata. So these three uh, collectively they uh, make up the brainstem which is the midbrain, pons and the medulla oblongata. And posterior to the brainstem uh, we have cerebellum. It is the hindbrain. It is the uh, primitive brain. So this is the forebrain, this was the midbrain and it, uh, this is the hindbrain which is the cerebellum. So these are very important anatomical uh, landmarks or anatomical segments of the uh, brain before we are to talk about the brain tumors. Now all these uh, lobes and parts of the brain which we have talked about anatomically, they have got certain functions to be carried out. For example, this frontal lobe has got very important anatom anatomical landmark which is that the posterior portion of the frontal lobe is uh, subdivided into two very important portions by the central sulcus. This is the central sulcus. Posterior to the central sulcus is the primary sensory cortex and anterior to this central sulcus is the primary motor, motor cortex. And as the name implies, you can very much appreciate that these two parts of the frontal cortex, they are involved in sense, sensation, perception and, and execution of the motor activity in these parts. Otherwise, the frontal lobe is involved with the uh, executive functioning of the body and the brain. It is involved in the thinking process. It's involved in the planning process. It has got a thing to do with the emotions, personality and the behavior. So all the executive functions which we carry out in our lives, they are more concerned with the frontal lobe. And we have seen in so many movies that when we see the aliens coming on the earth, they have got the bulging or uh, major portion of the frontal lobe coming out of their skull or protruding from their skull. So larger is the frontal lobe, the bigger will be the uh, ability to execute the uh, 
planning and to have a better thinking process. When we talk about the uh, functioning of the parietal lobe, which is posterior to the frontal lobe and which is a little uh, superior to both the temporal and the occipital lobe, the parietal lobe is again involved in very uh, specific tasks which are carried out by the brain. Like when we are doing the maths, when we are doing the arithmetics, this is the uh, fu function of the parietal lobe. When you are to remember some like spellings of the body and you are to spell something, then uh, the task is um, uh, mainly concerned with the parietal bone, parietal lobe of the brain. And also perception of the things, how you perceive the things, what, what sense it makes to you is also concerned with the uh, parietal lobe of the uh, brain.